subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Asian Palm Civet. It's dinner time! Hi everybody! My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Oh, you're out of water. I'll get some more for you. You're finished already? That was fast. Hey, where's this dog food leading to? It's an animal. So you're the one who ate Hero's food. What kind of animal are you anyway? I know. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still. Hi, Katie. Do you know what animal it is? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is an Asian palm civet. It's also called a toddy cat, but it's not really a cat. An Asian palm civet. So why did it steal Hero's food? Sometimes the Asian palm civet eats pet food that has been left out in the open. But the Asian palm civet usually eats small animals, insects, fruit, and flowers. But now it gets weird. The Asian palm civet also eats coffee beans. And when the civet poops out those coffee beans, some people take the beans and make coffee from them. Wait, what? People make coffee from the civet's poop after it eats coffee beans? And they drink it? Yes, this coffee is called Kopi Luwak. And it's one of the most expensive coffees in the world. Unfortunately, because Kopi Luwak is so popular, some people keep civets in small cages and only feed them coffee beans. Oh no, that's horrible! Absolutely, Leo. Asian palm civets prefer to live outside, in the tropical rainforests in Asia. We should take it back to the rainforest where it belongs. Come and join us! Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs! Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you have an Asian palm civet with you. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We want to find a home for it. The Asian palm civet is a nocturnal animal. That means it rests in the day and is awake at night. The Asian palm civet likes to eat the fruit and sap from palm trees. So if you want to find a home for the civet, you should look for palm trees. But remember, Junior Rangers, some farmers see civets as pests, so stay away from plantations. Plantations? A plantation is a large area of land on which fruit, trees, and plants are grown to be sold. The civet might sneak into plantations and eat the fruits from the trees. And the farmers don't like that. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Oh no, come back, Civet. It's going to another plantation. We better go after it. Leaving an Asian palm civet in a plantation is not a good idea. Ugh, this place smells. The smell comes from the durians. They must be ripe. So those fruits are durians? <gasps> that durian almost hit me. Good idea, Hero. My hat and your helmets can protect us, but I don't think we should stay here too long. Hero, can you sniff the civet out? 
The strong smell from the durians must be covering the civet scent. Hmm, we can use the heat vision on Hero's camera. We can view the image on my tablet. There, on the ground. That's not our civet, it's a wild boar. Poor boar. I don't think it deserved that. There you are. You got us worried. Great. We found our Asian palm civet. Let's head back to the jeep. We did it. We found a home for the Asian palm civet. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Yay! found an Asian palm civet in our garden. We learned that Asian palm civets like to eat the fruit and sap from palm trees. So we went to the rainforest to find a home for the civet near palm trees. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Malayan Taper. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. Do you want to see what's inside this book? It's filled with animals that can camouflage. Camouflage means the animal can hide in the environment because of its skin or fur. Look, here's a picture of an owl on a tree branch. Can you see it? And this tiger is really hard to see in the high grass. Camouflage helps animals hide from predators. But sometimes it helps the predator so it can sneak up on other animals. Hey, maybe there's an animal hiding in our garden right now. Let's try to find it. How strange. Could this be an animal? Hey, it is an animal. I wonder what animal this is. I know. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little one. Hi, Katie. So did you find out what animal it is? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a baby Malayan taper, also known as an Asian taper. A Malayan taper? There are five different types of tapers, but Malayan tapers are the only tapers found in Asia. Why does the baby taper look so different from its mother? That's because the fur coat of the baby taper acts as camouflage and helps it blend in with the forest floor. It makes it hard for other animals to hunt them. When the Malayan taper gets older, its coat starts to fade and it will look just like its parents. I see. What about the food they eat? Malayan tapers feed on leaves, fruits, and plants. They use their long snouts as hands, which they use to pick their food. That sounds handy. Malayan tapers live in rainforests in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. It must be lost without its mother. And its camouflage doesn't work very well in our garden. We should bring it back home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the baby taper would love that. See you downstairs.
Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought along a very rare friend. Very rare? Very rare because there aren't many of them left. Malayan tapirs are an endangered species. That means they are animals that are in danger of disappearing forever. That's terrible. Why are they in danger of disappearing forever? They are endangered because more and more of their forests are cut down. And sometimes they are also hunted by humans. Oh no! Then we have to make sure we return this little one home to its mother. If you want to find the baby taper's mother, keep a lookout for riverbanks near a lot of trees and plants. Malayan tapers like to live near water so they can bathe and swim, and the trees give them shade. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank you, Ranger Rocky! Come on, everyone. We're getting close. What was that? Did anyone hear that? Ah! Look how fast Baby Taper can run! Oh, no! The tiger is trying to catch the baby taper. Hero, be careful. Wait, they're coming back. Leo, use this. Good idea, Katie. Let's hope this works. Now! Now let's get the jeep here. The tiger didn't appear yet, so I think it worked. But what about Hero? Don't worry about Hero. His nose can lead him here. Quickly, let's go in the jeep. Oh no! Something's coming. Hero! Hero! Good work, Hero. Now let's go. We did it! We found the baby taper's mother! Great work, everyone! Hooray! We found a baby Malayan taper in our garden. We learned that the Malayan taper lives near riverbanks with lots of shade. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The crab-eating macaque. Hero! Where are you, Hero? Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Do you want to play a game, Hero? <laughs> Great! Let's play a game of fetch. I will throw this stick very far away, and you will get it and return it back to me. You ready? Fetch! Hero, you're supposed to get the stick. Ow! That's weird. Sticks don't fly. Come on, guys. Let's have a look. There's nothing here. It's a monkey! I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, monkey. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, brother. The computer is looking for information about the monkey. Bingo! This monkey is a macaque. A macaque? Yes, a macaque. A macaque is a type of monkey. And the monkey you found is a crab-eating macaque. I guess there must be a lot of crabs to eat. Not really. 
crab-eating macaques actually don't eat that much crabs. It's an omnivore, so it can eat different types of plants and small animals. Where does it come from? Crab-eating macaques live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The macaque you found comes from this place. Hmm, I think the macaque got lost. We should bring it back to its family. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you brought a young male macaque. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're here to find his family. Hmm, I don't think that's a good idea, Leo. It's very important that you don't look for his family. Don't look for his family? Why not? Most crab-eating macaque males will leave their family when they are old enough. They will look for a new group of macaques. The macaque you found is a male. And he left his group to look for a new one. I think he got lost. Then we should help him find a new group of macaques. Good idea, Leo. Crab-eating macaques are usually found in trees. You might want to look for a place with a lot of trees. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Oh, no. There were too many trees here. It's impossible to walk. Wait, where are you going? We can't climb like that. He's gone. What is it, Hero? Stairs? Let's go up and have a look. Hey, this monkey is also a macaque, but this one is much bigger. Whoa! What are you doing? Were you looking for this? If you give me the binoculars, I will give you this banana. What is it, Hero? A sign? Hmm. I think it means we cannot give the monkeys food. It says that they have to find their own food or else they might bother us and try to steal our things. Oh dear. Careful, Leo. Do not smile with your teeth showing, because the macaques will see that as a sign of aggression. Oops, time to leave. Everybody, let's fly! I think we should look for another group of macaques for you. These macaques weren't so nice. We did it! We found a group of macaques for our new friend. Great work, everyone! Yay! Yay! a macaque in our garden. We learned that a macaque is a monkey. We went to the rainforest and found a group of other macaques it can live with. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The koala. Hi, everybody. 
My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero, this is your paw print. The earth here is soft, and when you step on it, you see, this is my footprint. <coughs> Let's see if we can find more prints. Look, Hero, here are some prints. They are not yours. <coughs> Interesting. This print has two thumbs. <coughs> I have never seen such prints before. What animal could they belong to? <coughs> oh, wow, a koala bear. It must have made those prints. Hello, koala bear. Your claws are really sharp. <coughs> Shh, Hero, I think you're scaring it. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, koala bear. Hi, Katie. So, what did you find out? Hi, Leo. As I mentioned, it's called a koala, not a koala bear. It's not a bear. It is a marsupial, which means it carries its baby in a pouch, like a kangaroo. The koala can be found in different areas in Australia. What do koala bear, I mean koalas, eat? A koala is a folivore. That means it eats leaves. Koalas eat mainly eucalypt leaves and use trees as their home. Male koalas have a brown stain with a strong smell on their chest. Koalas also have two thumbs on their front paws and have very sharp claws. The two thumbs and sharp claws help koalas climb trees easily. Sadly, they are in danger of disappearing because their homes are being destroyed. Oh, that's so sad. If the koala doesn't eat, it'll starve. So let's bring the koala home and find a eucalypt tree for him. Come and join us. The koala would love that. Let's go. Hello, Junior Rangers. I see you have a very special friend with you today. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We are here to find a home for him. You should look for eucalypt trees in a safe area, away from traffic and dogs. And you should try to look for a eucalypt tree that does not have another koala in it. Koalas need to eat a lot of eucalypt leaves to keep themselves full, so they prefer not to share a tree. There are hundreds of different eucalypt trees, but koalas eat only some of them. Some of them have big and broad leaves. Others have narrow and long leaves. There are many of them around here. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! It looks like we'll have to cross the creek to take the koala home. <coughs> Hero! Why are you barking? Oh, it's not you, Hero. Oh, no! Where did those ducks come from? No, Koala, wait! They're scaring him away. <coughs> he won't leave. Leo, do you have some doggy treats? Good idea, Katie. Here, doggies. Go get it. Oh, no. That dog is not falling for it. Koala! It fell in the water. <laughs> Good job, Hero. That was brave of you. Where is the koala? Wow, the koala can swim. Stay where you are. We're coming to get you. The 
koala is climbing up fast. He really is a great climber. Come on down, boy. We'll find a better tree for you. I hope you like it, koala. We did it. We found a perfect home for the koala. Great work, everyone. Yippee! Hooray! We found a koala in our garden. We learned that a koala is not a bear and they eat a lot of leaves. We took the koala home and found him an empty eucalypt tree. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.